Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a scrolling effect with text in Camtasia 9. All right, so we're here in Camtasia 9 and I'm quickly gonna show you an example of the scrolling effect. So I've got one right here. It says, hello, my name is Jewel Tolentino and it's going at a fairly slow rate. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this scrolling text effect. So this is the example here. I'm just gonna delete this and show you from scratch. So I'm gonna delete and head back to the media area. From here, I'll go to annotations and I can either click this text or this text. They're basically the same, just one is bigger and one is smaller. So let's just click the bigger one here. And then I'm going to put whatever text I want. So let's say you want like a whole paragraph, one sentence, whatever you want, you put in this area. And you just double click to change it, make sure it's highlighted. And I'm gonna put the text, hello. My name is Jewel Tolentino. So that's my name. Now, the key here is to have this box be the same size as the canvas that you're working in, and I'll explain in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just size it accordingly to each side. And you saw that when it's when it's aligned, it has this yellow line that appears. That means it's right to the edge on both sides. So if you don't want the font to be this large, so as you can see, when I, when I moved this, it made the font larger. If you don't want it to be that large, that's fine. You can head over to here and make the font as small or as large as you'd like, but still having this rectangle be right on the edge of your canvas. Now I'm gonna explain why this is important. So first I'm just gonna stretch the length of the text out. So I'm just, just to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna just stretch it out to this length right here. For this particular example for the scrolling effect, I'm gonna have the text come from the bottom and then go through as if it were scrolling through and it's gonna disappear at the top. So the key thing here is you need to place your text at the bottom where it is out of sight. So as you can see, I've moved it, it was in the middle, I've placed it down here and now you can't really see it anymore, but it's still, it's there, you know, quote unquote, it's still there. Then we need to head over to animations. So now we need to add a custom animation. So you wanna click on custom and drag it down to your text and it's gonna have this green short arrow. From here, you actually need to create the animation. So remember when I was telling you that you need to make sure that the rectangle is fitted to the sides of your canvas? This is the reason why, is because when you are moving this, it's easier to have it go smoothly because if you didn't have that and you were just eyeballing it, then it would be your your text might go a little off to the side and just places you don't want to go. This way I know that it's going to go from the center straight to the top without it moving from side to side. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I've now placed my text at the top where it's out of sight because that's where I want it to end up. It started here at the bottom and now it's going to be going at the top where I don't see it anymore because that's the type of scrolling effect I want. So after I've done that, this green arrow captured your animation. So you can see here that it's probably gonna go fast because the arrow is very short. We want this animation to go a little longer, so you need to stretch out the arrow and it turns into a yellow arrow. So you wanna stretch it out so that it goes at a slower pace. The shorter you make it, the faster it's gonna go. So now I'm gonna play it and it's gonna go a little bit slower now so that you know people can actually read what you're saying if you've got like a bunch of text going on. You've gotta make it slow, otherwise people can't read it while it's going through. As you can see, it looks like it was scrolling through the screen. Like it looks like it's, it's actually churning in like a circle. 
So that's how you create the scrolling effect in Camtasia 9. Now you can play around with this. This isn't the only way of scrolling that you can do. You can have it scroll from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right, right to the left, from this angle, from that angle. You guys can do whatever you want with the custom animation. I'll do a, a quick one where I'll have it go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So I'm just going to delete this animation, the arrow. So I'm going to click on it and click the delete button. And so you need to place the text where you want it to start off. So I want it to start off screen in the top left hand corner. And then I want it to end up down here in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to add a custom animation. And now we need to build the animation. So now I want this to go across the screen like that. It's not perfect, but it's just an example. So I'm going to play it for you real fast here, what it looks like. Oh, so it went really fast if you saw that. I'll slow it down now to show you guys what I just created with the top left and the bottom right. So you see here it's sliding. So this is another custom sort of slide scrolling effect that you can do. And you can pretty much, you know, do whatever you want with this custom animation. So that is it for this video. That is how you create a custom scrolling effect with text in Camtasia 9. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.